All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So this is pretty much the week, uh, the last week that I'll be doing content for a little while before I take my break. So you're only going to be getting half the usual content. I'm only going to be recording up to Wednesday. Once Thursday hits, I am on break, and I will be on break for a cool minute. But don't worry, I will be back. Like I said, we're going to be working on these channel changes and all that. So while you guys won't be seeing much, there will be a lot of things going on behind the scene. Anyway... Before I break, we only got two card reviews. We got, we got Wednesday, and, I mean Monday, today, this video right now, and Wednesday. So with that, I was like, you know what? If if we're going to go out for a little while, let's just review two cards. Let's, you know, I mean, we're going to fall behind. You know, the, the two months plus that I'll be gone, uh, pretty much, we're going to be behind, which sucks. So hopefully, you know, I mean, the, I mean, it's going to be great when we come back. There's going to be a lot of content to talk about. And uh, hopefully, you know, we'll be able to uh, at least upgrade the quality of card review instead of just you guys sitting here looking at cards listening to my disembodied voice maybe we will uh, get something more involved hopefully you're someone crossing my fingers to help so we do uh after we come back from the champion it says card review will be a magic series and uh unlike now when you get two videos a day for me you're only going to get one so if you're only going to get one video and that being card review on monday and wednesday can i at least make it you know some a uh, little bit better quality Anyway, we're going to be reviewing two cards today. Two spell cards. Two spell cards. They have nothing to do with each other, but I was like, you know what? We're going to review two cards on Monday, two cards on Wednesday, two spells, two traps from different archetypes. They have nothing to do with each other, but hey, you know, we can get to kill uh, two birds with one stone. That's how we're going to go out here with cards before, I, before our little break. So uh, the first card we're going to be looking at uh, here to the left is Asanado. So it's a, mel a melodious card, and it's pretty much exactly what you think and what you've been hoping for. So uh, let's go ahead and look at it. It's a normal spell card that reads, if you control no monsters. What's up with them in just like, if you control no monsters, you know? You fusion summon one melodious fusion monster from your extra deck using two monsters from your hand or deck. There it is. There it is. As fusion materials. Yes. Melodious has the uh, obligatory make the shit stupid by fusion from the day. We already know. Now, you have to control no monsters, which it makes it a little bit more balanced. I mean, in comparison to, like, the red-eye fusion card and the Shadal fusion, you know, it's just like, fusion from the deck is so powerful. Because generally, you're supposed to neg with your fusion plays. But you even out. You just use this one card to fusion summon the one fusion monster. You even out, you know? And then sometimes, like, in Shadal's hands, you go plus, depending on what you send. So, you know... I mean, the course of stipulation is like, oh, your opponent has to control a monster summon from the after that. Uh, you cannot normal summon or, you know, do anything else for the rest of the turn. I think it's normal summon for the rest of the turn. And this card is, you uh, have to control no monsters. So, unlike Shadal Fusion, when it's like, yeah, I can have, like, all these monsters. You control monsters from the like Shadal Fusion, you know. I can, I have to control no monsters. But this card's not done. It's not done. Uh, during the end phase of this turn, destroy the monster that is fused, uh, fused and summoned by this effect. And if you do, if... All of the fusion materials that were used for a fusion summon are in the graveyard. You can special summon all of them. All right, so you fusion summon it. It's only temporary. It's only for one turn. There's no restrictions. You can't. It's not like you can't special summon for the rest of the turn or you can't conduct a battle. It's just the monster during the phase will die. The fusion summon monster. But depending on what you fusion summon, you might be okay with it. Like like you think that's a bad thing, but when it comes to melodious, that's actually a really good thing. So of course you have your three fusion monsters, which is fine. You fuse into uh, uh, the one that requires two of the Melodious Monsters, the one that gains the attack and vanishes, and you can literally just send Arya and Elegy. And then when she dies in end phase, summon Arya and the Elegy that you fuse and summon, bam, you pretty much have a little soft lock. Because Arya, uh, while well, she's special summoned, because she'll be special summoned back from the graveyard through uh, Asinato, she makes it so your Melodious Monsters can't be targeted by card effects or destroyed by battle. And then you have Elegy that uh, special summon Melodious monsters you control, including herself, cannot be destroyed by card effect. So you know, these two and other Melodious monsters that you summon, as little progress, uh, cannot be destroyed by battle, cannot be targeted, and cannot be destroyed by card effect. You are pretty much invincible. You know, you're borderline invincible. So that, 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 that's power. That's power. And of course, you can summon my favorite Melodious monster. You can summon Bloom Diva. Uh, I was I kind of wanted to make a Ubel. Uh, kind of uh, melodious deck because Bloom Diva kind of has that Ubel feel to it, to her. But uh, it really didn't work out. There was really no synergy. It was just melodious thrown in with Ubel, and that wasn't great. There's there's absolutely no synergy. If they were dark, maybe we could talk. But because they're light, it's just like yeah, I could do some chaos plays, but still, you know. Uh, but of course, if you remember Bloom Diva, first sentence: This card cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effect. Therefore, if you fusion summon her with Asinato, 
during the end phase, she won't die. She can't be destroyed by Carter fan. So, you see, it's like, it's like, oh, man, that sucks. I'm also going to die. I mean, do you really care? I mean, sometimes it allows you to do a play that you wouldn't even have if it didn't do that with the, the Aria Elegy play. So, overall, this card is really great. Like, this is exactly what they needed a long, 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 long time ago. Like, this card came out way too late. Not like Melodius were ever doing anything anyway, but the fact still remains is that if you were giving, you know, Shadals came and went, Red Eyes came and did nothing and I guess got more cards and still did nothing. Now, Melodius, I mean, they, you know, they did absolutely freaking lootly nothing. They weren't good, you, you know. You neg on your plays, it was a struggle, but now you got, when you get one of them cards, infusion cards, the future in the deck, I mean, I, I ain't complaining. I am not complaining that you can go ahead and do this. Because, A, you kind of deserved it, especially with the other decks. Like, if you get a first one to do it, I'd say, oh my god, it's broken, but you're not. And just the fact that you can just summon Bloom Diva with one fucking card, it's just so awesome. I mean, you got to run the Melodious uh, magis uh, Magistra, it was kind of like, yeah, those, those kind of suck. Like, those two... Which you gotta run one of them. You gotta run one of them, or both of them, or whatever. But the point is, you gotta run it or two. Bust out that bloom dealer. So now you really gotta do it. But uh, still, I mean, that's awesome. That's awesome. So Ancinado is a really good card. Uh, now let's go ahead and turn over to the right card, uh, and it's a Ritual Beast card. So uh, it's been a while since we uh, talked about Ritual Beast. We talked about uh, uh, that uh, Ritual Beast Lady Monster. I forgot her name already. Uh, Winda, Winda, yeah. Talked to Winda a little while ago. Of course, uh, Ulti Kanahawk is still at one, and as long as Strike is at three and Ulti Kanahawk is at one, don't even try it. Because as soon as you bust that out, you're going to hit the Strike, you're going to neg, and it's, you're just going to fall apart. I've, I've seen it time and time again. I do it against the deck, I've hit it with the Strike, and it, it just all falls apart. But uh, they said that they were going to give Ritual Beast some more support, and not only did they get uh, Winda, but they also got this Quick Play, sorry. Quick Play spell card, so let's go ahead and read it. So this is Ritual Beast promised return so i'm not gonna say i'm an expert on ritual beast i have never played the deck never that deck so much skill so much skill and the time that it takes to learn it especially since you know also cannot stop one it's just not worth the effort you know it's not competitive uh it's never got put on daily duels it's just, you know it's really no effort maybe when we come back from our break and we have the series of plays in daily duels would be daniel duels where it's a live stream me playing it I mean, whatever you know Maybe you guys can go ahead and recommend it. We can work on a Ritual Beast deck, you know, and try it out there. But, you know, on my free time, no. But uh, I'll try to look at it anyway. I'll try to look at it objectively. So it's a quick play spell card that reads, Banish one Ritual Beast monster from your hand. Okay. Then target one of your Ritual Beast monsters that is banished or in your graveyard. Special summon it. Uh, I mean... You neg, you neg. Let's, let's go ahead and uh, dress the bull in the room. You neg. You banish a ritual beast monster from your from your hand. Target one, summon it. You use two cards to summon one. You neg, you neg, obviously. But the plays that it unlocks and the interesting things that you can do, I guess, I guess, I mean, it's a quick play spell card. That's nice. So you can play it during your turn, or you could play it, set it, and play it during your opponent's turn, either way, that's fine, but if you play it during your opponent's turn, of course, we got, then you're kind of stepping on Ambush's territory, where Ambush is like, hey, I target a Banished Ritual Beast, uh, you know, I target one of your Tamers, and, uh, and one of your Ritual Beast monsters that are in Banished or in Grave, and summon both of them, and, uh, you know, so, this, this is a Neg one, this, this card's a Neg one, while Ambush is, is a plus one, because you summon two for the price of one. And generally, you're going to be playing it during your opponent's turn anyway, because it's like, oh, you can't, uh, I do have to this card, you can't special some monsters, separate ritual beast monsters for turn. Like, I mean, playing a ritual beast deck, I don't really plan on playing, uh, summoning anything else unless may maybe an occasional, like, Lightning Troy or something, maybe. But the point is, is that Ambush is a plus one. This re promised return is a negative one. Uh, but something interesting is that, I mean, like I said, it's quicker. Because it's a quick play spell, it's quicker. If it was a trap card, I mean, I, I couldn't even give it to you. Like, why did you ever play this over Ambush? But the fact that it's a quick play spell card means that if you get it during your turn, you can play it immediately. You don't have to set it like Ambush, wait a turn, and especially with Ultimate Hanukkah, getting you that uh, that search of a, a Ritual Beast Spell or Trap. You can easily search this and continue your plays. Uh, you can summon that, uh, it just says Ritual Beast Monster, so you can summon the Tamer, you can summon the Beast, it doesn't matter, you can summon either or, you can summon Linda, who is either or. Uh, and then something interesting is if, uh, I know there's some times where you don't get the Ritual Beast old guy right there in the front of the card who gives you that additional normal summon. So you kind of just, you're like, I would like to have two Ritual Beasts on the field, but I can't to contact Fuse. 
this card can actually, it'll neg you, but it can actually summon you the card that you want. So I can just be like, okay, summon a tamer. Oh man, uh, doesn't give me additional normal summon, I have no way of accessing and summoning another beast contact. Oh wait, uh, ritual beast promise return. Banish the, the, the beast, right? Because I already have the tamer, banish the beast, target that same beast, because you can do that. You banish and target as the cost. So you banish as the cost, you can target that same monster, and then summon it. So it's a neg. It's still a neg. It's still a neg. But it gets you to your plays quicker. So the card's not bad. Despite being a neg one, it's not bad. It gets you set up. Um, it gets you access to plays that you might not have, you know. And just the fact that it's a quick play set card, it, I mean, it has its spots. So like, it ambushes that plus one, and this is that neg one. But this, it's much quicker. Because if I had to wait and rely on ambush, especially since I have to have a already targeted tamer and beast in my graveyard or banished already, this I don't have to. I can make it my own. So pretty much, not only I can summon from the uh, uh, from the banished or the graveyard, because either or, but I can artificially summon from the hand as long as I target and summon the same monster that I banished as well, artificially. You know, I'm still banishing the monster and summoning back, but you know, it's a monster that I had in my hand before activating the card and then resolve and now it's back on the field. So it, it gets you set up. So not a terrible card for a neg one. All right, so uh, there we go. Just, just review two cards, two spell cards. Uh, like I said, on Wednesday, that's the day I'm taking my break. And I said at 12 o'clock uh, PM Pacific time, you'll be getting card review, which is two trap cards. And then on at, uh, at 2 PM Pacific time is the, is the upload of the live stream of the grand finale daily duels. Uh, live stream, is, which is going from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. So, literally, you watch the live stream from 8 to 12 and end. Look, bam, there's card of you. Two hours later, if you didn't make it to the live stream, it'll be uploaded for you. And uh, that's it. Daily Duels will be over. I'll be taking a break for a little while. Uh, like I said, a lot of channel changes are coming up. So, uh, please remain subscribed. If not, I understand. I get you. You're like, hey, I'm not going to remain subscribed to a channel that's not producing content. I mean, I've literally been giving you guys content for over a year now constantly. So it's not it's more it's more less of I need a break and more of I need a break for away from the channel to get these chan channels because like I said league is a major part it's it's pretty much going to the lineup like you know how on Tuesdays and Thursdays you get um, Death Proto commentary quote unquote or whatever Death Proto commentary that that series is gone it's ending tomorrow tomorrow it's ending that's the this is the series finale right and it's been on Tuesdays you're getting league on Monday Wednesday. Oh, Tuesday and Thursday, you're getting leaked. Monday and Wednesday, you're getting card review. Fake card Friday. Saturday and Sunday, we're doing live stream. Saturday, final live stream like we always do. Sunday, Daniel Duels live stream. You know, you're getting content from me still every day. It's just like I'm not doing daily duels, which is a little bit easier on me. It won't burn me out when it comes to, you know, doing live streams. Because, I mean, I haven't really touched Yu-Gi-Oh! all week, you know? I've just talked about a card, upload a video that I probably pre-recorded for League. Talk about a card, pre-recorded League. Talk about a card. Oh, shit, it's the weekend. Let's go. Let's play some Yu-Gi-Oh. I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh in like a week. So, you know, I won't be all burnt out on it. And then I can enjoy that with you guys. And I, I think that it'll be easier to network with people that I'm just not like spamming. But I still have over 4,000 videos. At least I'm not spamming you guys with uploads. You know, it's still, I think one video per day is nice. Daily duels will end. And uh, I think everything will be for the better. I really do. I think I'll be able to grow. Like I said, a lot. I have to do a lot with League. A lot. I got to contact the people pick their teams, pick their debt, network, I, I gotta do a butt ton of stuff, so I'm gonna need that break, I'm gonna need that break, just to get League set up for you guys, so when you come back, you'll have something to watch, because if I don't have League ready, then how am I supposed to come back for, with my channel changes when League is a major part, right? And don't worry, League will go on for a long time, so you'll get plenty of that. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoy this card review, so tell me what you guys think about Asinato and Ritual Beast Promised Return in the comment section below. Like I said, on a Thursday, we'll come back and look at two more trap cards. Uh, if you're wondering, oh, what, Daniel, what are the trap cards? I believe it's the Magic Spectre trap card, Gus, and that Harpy card, the Harpy, not Feather Duster, or other card, the trap card. So we'll be looking at those on Wednesday. And then after that, break time, break time. <laughs> So I hope that you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. I will see you guys tomorrow with the series finale. The series finale. That's it. There's no more on my channel. A Death Pro Duel commentary. The last episode. Uh, and then, like I said, on Wednesday, if you guys can make it, join me for the Daily Duel series finale. Episode 1000, people. 1000 of Daily Duels. All right, people. Thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow.